Okay, guys, I got a few more minutes before my wife gets home, and uh, since I already started the 269s in the backyard, I thought I'd go ahead and start this 57 Chevy truck while I got a little bit of extra time. So we'll jump in it here and see how quick it starts up, and I'll back it out of the garage here for just a minute and let it let it run for just a few minutes. So let's see how good we do. Once again, I've already put the oh, key in the ignition. Check my glue traps. And that's my deluxe heater in the box. I, I went ahead and put it in the truck so I don't lose it again. So let's see what we got going on here. Hopefully it won't be too hard to start. Give it some pats. I actually don't know when I've started. It hadn't been too long ago, though. I'm trying to. That's always a good sound, isn't it, when something starts and you don't have much trouble with it? In case you're new to the channel or just passing through on one of the videos and clicked on this one, it's a six cylinder original six cylinder three speed on the column they call it three on the tree and uh i've been messing with this old truck for a couple of years now doing this that and the other to it it's it's one of those uh slow progressions because i i don't have money growing on trees so i just have to do a little bit a little bit as i can I've got a lot of videos on this old truck and on, and on all my old trucks. If you're interested in old trucks and and uh, looking at my 62 Impala that I have at Randy's at my, it's working on it while just be a subscriber and uh, give me a comment, a thumbs up, whatever. And, and uh, just go through my history of all the trucks and stuff that I have. Okay, I'm going to see if I can back this out without running into something. Of course, you know, if you've ever drove one of these trucks, a 57 Chevy truck is 62 years old. And this one doesn't have power steering, of course. So you've got to manhandle it. And it's even worse because a lot of it's... A lot of the parts are wore out. I don't know how many miles is on this old truck, but I'd say it's got a story to tell. Okay. I'm going to put my, my emergency brick over here. And I'm going to let it sit here and run for just a few minutes. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna let it run and charge the battery just a little bit. Let it run for just a few minutes. Put it in neutral. In case you, I'll, I'll give you a quick lesson. In case you're not familiar with shifting a three speed on the column. Okay, let me put the clutch in and I'll show you. If you pull the handle toward you, wait a minute, there we go. Pull the handle toward you and up is reverse. Pull the handle toward you, down is first. Find the sweet spot, which is the neutral. Kind of push it back gently. That's second. Straight back down, pushing it away from you is third. So third is pushed away, second is pushed away, coming down you hear it, hear it click, it's in neutral, pull it toward you gently, and down is first, pull it toward you, and up is reverse, like I said you just pull it toward you gently, find the sweet spot, 
my emergency brake on this truck doesn't work, so. And my temperature hand is cold, so I'm gonna let it warm up for just a few minutes. In case you didn't know that, and this is, I'm saying this too for my wife's benefit, cause she doesn't know how to drive a three on the tree either. She can drive anything except the three on the tree. So I'm real proud of her just for knowing how to drive a straight shift or car or truck or pump gas and all that. A lot of, you know, a lot of women and children don't know how to even pump gas. But anyway, I'm going to kind of clean out this garage a little bit. Let this old 57 truck run for a few minutes. Waiting on my wife to come home. I thought she'd be home before now, but not yet. And if you look back at my older videos, you'll see that I've painted this whole truck with a rattle can. So, if you think it looks bad, uh, you probably should have seen it. <laughs> probably should have seen it before I done anything to it. But the old truck's come a long way. It had set in a field in Alabama. Just sitting out in the field. It was, it was you know, non-running and just sitting there, I guess going to turn back into the dust of the earth I guess you could say and my friend bought it and called me as soon as he got it because he knows I'm a sucker for these trucks since then since I've had the truck probably two years give or take uh, I put new bumpers on it I found a used chrome grill new headlight bezels and turn signals new wipers and I got electric wiper motor on it instead of the vacuum. Got this windshield visor. Some people like them, some don't. I happen to like them. Got me an antenna. Somebody already gouged all that up. I didn't do that, but got me an antenna and hooked me a little old radio up in there. I didn't cut any wires. I just kind of straight wired it. So you got to remember to turn the radio off. I've had to, it went from six lug to five four and three quarter Chevy boat pattern. That's how I got these Corvette rallies on it because that's the only wheels I had. As you remember, I'm on a budget so I can't really afford to do a whole lot. That sound that sounded like a shotgun is actually those acorns falling and hitting my metal building. I painted the dash. Uh, this truck came with a deluxe heater. And that's what's in this box. I'm going to try to get it to work. I've had dual exhaust put on it, even though it's just a six cylinder. I just like the way they look. I like the way they come out the sides. And with the motor off, you might think it had a little V8 in it. But I, I just always do that, just have a little fun. I've done a whole lot to this old truck and spent a lot of money that buying, like buying these tail lights. Just everything putting barn wood in it didn't have no bed floor it's come a long long way and it i know you're thinking it still looks rough and it is but it's really it really has come a long long way if you look back at my earlier videos you'll see just how far it's come but uh in order to do stuff like this my wife and i kind of have to sacrifice other things you know we have a little bit extra we'll put money toward you know buying something or you know for a truck or something she's she's a pretty understanding woman that i have i'm real real blessed to have her and uh like i said it's just a work in all my cars and trucks are just a work in progress i just do the best i can um, i'm sure not one of those guys that can just write out a check and get everything all done i have to plan 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 and sacrifice staying home instead of going to the movies and stuff like that i can't i don't my wife and I, we just kind of do this kind of stuff. So anyway, didn't mean to bore you. I just know there's a lot of people out there that's like myself and you just got to plan and do without and be committed to your task. So uh, I'm hoping when Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop on Facebook, I'm hoping that when he gets done with my 71, I can swap him and give him this truck and I'm going to get a new steering box put on it, a, a better one, not a new one. It's a better used one. And uh, let him, uh, Corey or Tim, probably Corey, put that. That works for Tim. 
put that uh, heater controls and stuff in there for me. And maybe maybe have me a little defrost and a little heat too. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, appreciate you watching the video. Thanks a lot. If you like this kind of stuff or, or some of the stuff that I talk about, why well, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want to. Appreciate it if you would. Y'all have a good and I'll catch you next video. See you later.